I'm sitting here watching the waning minutes of my weekend tick away and thought to myself, what should I do to send off this fantastic weekend I've had? And I thought, you know, how about I fire up an Arch-based distribution and break it on purpose? And really, the reason for that is just to show how easy it is to fix Arch in most cases by using Arch Chirrut. And so what I'm going to do is come in here and do something really dumb, uh, starting by not putting in my password correctly. And so I thought, well, what's an easy way to break an Arch system or any system, any Linux system for that matter? How about we go ahead and delete the grub config file? That should do it. So if we go to boot grub and take a look, we've got a grub.cfg file. And this is what your system's reading whenever it, the bootloader uh, fires up at, at boot time. If it can't find that file, it doesn't know what to do. So that's, that's a sure way to break this thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and move that file because I want to be able to, to fix it just as easily as I break it to uh, grub.config. Dot, let's say off. And how about I do that with some privileges? All right, so a running system couldn't care less about that. It's already up, it's already booted. So, it, and it's also not going to tell you, hey, don't do this. Uh, it didn't let me do it as a regular user, which is great. But obviously, if you do that as sudo or as root, you can quite easily break whatever you want. And Arch is definitely not as fragile as many people might have you believe. If you aren't doing goofy things, it, it is perfectly stable. There are occasionally things that go wrong, and I make the contention that that happens with every single distribution that exists, and even beyond Linux, any computer that exists. So it just is what it is. But one of the things that I enjoy about this is that it's so easy to fix. So I've obviously done something dumb here. I'm going to go ahead and reboot and it's not going to work. I already have the Arch installation media in here, which is why you're seeing this menu. If I go ahead and say boot existing OS, it is going to tell me, hey, I can't do that because I can't find the grub file. Uh, it doesn't tell me it can't find the grub file. It just says that it can't boot for whatever reason. Uh, I happen to know exactly why, as, as you do too, but you may not know. And for whatever reason, you are staring at the screen thinking, okay, well, I guess that's it for Arch. Um, in the past, I would have, before I knew this technique and was smart enough to do this, I would have probably thought the same thing and reinstalled the entire system or gotten disgusted and just done something else. But in this case, I know that, uh, you know, this is a pretty easy fix. And in, like I said, just about every case that I've run into in recent memory, I've been able to fix it as well. So let's go ahead and power that off, start it back up. And in this case, I'm going to boot from the installation media. So if this was a physical computer, I'd have this on a USB thumb drive and just, you know, boot from that. And the premise is that by booting from the installation media, we can mount the partitions that exist on the system already and then chroot into them, which enables us to run commands as though we had natively, natively booted that system. So the first thing we have to do is see what disks exist. So we'll do an F disk L and that's showing us there's an SDA and an SD2. SDA1 is the boot and SDA2 is the root. So we want to mount the root first. And we're going to do dev SDA2 to MNT slash MNT. And then secondarily, we have to mount boot because that's where that file actually is that I renamed. So I'm going to change this to one and then slash boot. And now, now that those are mounted, I can tell the system, let's go ahead and root into that mount folder. And you see this is Arch Labs, so they have a bunch of uh, customization and stuff here. You would just see sort of a more of a normal prompt on a basic Arch system or, or a vanilla or stock install. Um, but here we are, so we can go back to boot grub where we started this mess and see there's our config.off file. I'm going to move that back to grub.config. I could type. And 
if we take another look, there's our file again. And what that means is once the system reboots, it's going to see it again and, and it'll work. Now, this is almost certainly not the problem you are having if you're watching this video or if, if you're trying to figure out how to fix an Arch system. You're more than likely facing some other issue. Hopefully there was an error message or some other way for you to identify the issue uh, when it was failing to boot. If not, while you're in here, you can look at logs and do different things to determine the cause of the issue. And because again, you are in this system, you can just go ahead and fix them. And when the system reboots, it should just work. So I fixed the grub file, and if I reboot now, that should fix the problem. But when you're in Chiroot, you don't just reboot out of this system because you're actually inside of another system. So what you want to do is say exit. And it's also best practice to go ahead and unmount those partitions that were mounted before. So we'll start with uh, U-mounting, oh, this prompt, uh, U-mounting MNT boot and then just MNT. And from here, we can go ahead and reboot. And remember the installation media is still in here, so it wants to boot to that, but you can say existing OS. And hey, there's our grub menu. And this will just go ahead and boot right back into Arch Labs, and we've fixed the issue. So like I said, in the past, I would have probably given in to despair and reinstalled the system, wiped the partitions and all that terrible mess and um, been very frustrated. And recently I have learned to do things the, a much easier way. So hopefully this helped you. Hopefully if this wasn't something you're aware of or weren't sure how it worked, that this was a pretty straightforward way to understand that. Questions, comments, any suggestions, anything like that, please feel free to leave them. I enjoy reading all of the feedback I get. And I hope you guys have a fantastic upcoming week and I will see you again soon.